Hey, well, it's me again. Uh, for this subject, I want to talk about don't be half-hearted. Uh, you know, understand that, you know, when we hear sermons about giving your whole heart to Jesus or uh, be obedient with, the, with your whole heart, uh, it's because, you know, in, in Scripture, it talks about uh, giving, you know, surrendering all to Jesus, giving all to the Lord. Because, because once you are saved, you know, you belong to the Lord. And that you do whatever God tells you to do according to His will. And that, and that as Christians, that we need to examine ourselves on a daily basis so that we can be a you know, wholehearted for the Lord. And, and, and just letting God just direct us into his will so that we can be so so that we can humble ourselves to the lord as we pray and seek after god in order for us to understand that he is the alpha and omega the beginning and the end you know he is the author of our faith so that we can go whatever the lord desires us to go to so that we can change the change the world for Jesus Christ because it's not about us you gotta understand that we want one to all Christians we try to crucify the flesh as much you know as much as we can so that so that don't let our flesh interfere with God's plan in our lives and so you got to so you got to have a heart just to serve the Lord, because we are called to be faithful servants unto the Lord, and so it's, it's it's really important to seek the Lord, to go after God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, to to really change the world for Jesus Christ. And I met many many missionaries, you know, that minister to different countries. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a third world country, Europe, Asia. I met them, and and I and I can see their their lives being changed through Jesus Christ, and that they began to do church planning and to train up uh, future pat- future pastors in their town, in their countries. And, um, yeah, so don't be half-hearted, be wholehearted, be in prayer what the Lord is wanting you to do, and and to understand that we got to crucify the flesh in order for us to do the will of God. So, may God bless you and keep you, and I'll see you again later.